All right, man. Let's talk. Hopefully. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say, you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I'd like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What was your proudest career moment? Uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. <laughs> you know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? No chance. They had me under the whole time. Figures. They always have to be in control. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. I like talking to Jacob a lot. He's very grounded. Very personable. All right. Kelly, what you got for me? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Cool. Let's chat. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, think twice. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. <coughs> anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Uh, we already went over these. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Sure. Yeah. Of course. As my scars glow in the darkness. Alright. Uh, unread messages. Let's see what we got. Things are quiet again. Uh, medic. Omega Clinic desk. I read that as one word. Uh, Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd see seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check. How bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is going well. We got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. Thanks, Daniel. Alright, we got a thank you message. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, now that's out of the way. Maybe I should uh, run up to the front of the ship and give Joker a talk. Hadley, I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back, and make sure the Collectors pay for taking him. Uh, a lot more idle banter from the uh, non-essential crew. I don't like that term. Uh, the NPCs? Sure. Okay, Shepard, glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. <laughs> In the stair! <laughs> I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. 
Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. <laughs> your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. Mm, anything else to sell? I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. <laughs> Fractured your thumb on the mute. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Cool, cool. Really homed in on that, uh, <laughs> that hitting the mute button comment. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, one level at a time. One level at a time. Uh, crew quarters next. Alright? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, anything in here? It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Uh, Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's good news. Remember last time he was talking about that fact that, uh, they were right in the line of fire. His family, I mean. So. Uh, good to move. All right. Time to talk to the person I didn't take on the last mission. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. Youch. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Hmm. Like I made some progress there. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. And I think that's about it because this goes down the same thing. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. All right. I remember in the original Normandy, this is supposed to be my room. It's not. 
kind of happy that I got my own room in the loft, though. So, that's cool. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Yep. And we just visited him. Okay. Aw, uh, youch. I still need to go to the Presidium and pick up that thing for the chef. 